Hello again, my name is Henrox, and I hope you're all having a great day. Welcome back to Tucson. Uh, oh, did I just eat something strange? I did. I ate some blueberries. It's fine. Uh, let's, uh, let's follow... Brave uh, kid, Guillaume. Parmenino for so oh, is upbringing. Guillaume is his kid. Yeah, I know. Come on. Can we go? There we go. Shall we, uh... Oh, yeah, you, should, you better step out of the way. Oh, look at... Look at the terrain. It is... Oh, come on. Aren't you gonna follow the damn road? Can't get Ooh. used to the way you knights talk. Especially how you switch back and forth between flowery and... Well, near normal. We are knights errant. In the service of her gracious magnificence. When we appear in her name or speak on her behalf, we are bound by tradition. I suppose you're right. I suppose it makes sense. No one here. They must have removed the body already. Let's look around. Make sure they didn't miss anything. Hobnailed boots. Multiple sets of prints. Ducal guard, clearly. Let's see where they went. Walked right. along the shoreline. Perhaps the body lay on the bank. Oh, I hear someone. Anything taken by the current ends up in these shallows. Yes. This Hello. Got guests. Careful. Not bad. Wow. He just explodes. Right there. What happened? Oh, these are the guys that explode when they die. Of course. I remember now. Drawn here by the smell of blood. Let's keep looking. Let's take all the junk. All right. Blood. Guardsmen pulled these nets out of the water, then cut the mutilated body free. Come on, stand Gotta up. Gotta dive in. Make sure you didn't miss anything. Alright. Oh, hello. Found something. Uh, and there we go. Handkerchief. All right. Let's uh, get upstairs. So, handkerchief, monogrammed D L C, a noble's accessory. Clearly, need to comb the bank. Yeah, all right. What's this? Something. Look, a boat was launched here. Guardsmen must have loaded the body parts onto it, taken them somewhere. Need to find out where. I'd like to look at the corpse before it starts to decompose. The inn. Its patrons must have seen the guardsmen. Which direction they took. We should ask there. Oh, <gasps> a mysterious figure! Seems we've got ourselves an audience. You think this surprising? The locals will tell the children of children they do not have yet. Of the day a quartered corpse was pulled from the river. One thing. Found a handkerchief in the water. Monogrammed DLC. Mean anything to you? Delacroix? It cannot be. Was it he the beast slew? Seems so. Knew him well? Long past. We were close friends once, but our paths diverged. He was a man of extremes. Standing by his companions, no matter the odds. Fighting his foes to the bitter end. Foes? He have a lot of them? He did. But I do not see what that has to do with the beast. Ah, Geralt. You've struck a road nerve. Memories of a time long past. 
to which I'd rather not return now. I understand. We can talk later. Let's go to the tavern. Indeed, we I shall. I have to leave you soon. Return to court. Barely got back to Tucson. A knight in the service of her illustrious highness knows no rest. In fact, I feared I would return too late to fulfill my duty. Yet it seems I've arrived in the nick of time. Oh, yeah. Can you move faster? I mean, seriously. I suppose sprinting in a full, full plate armor is not the way to do it. But hey, come on. Could you at least. Once you have finished examining the corpse, be sure to report to Anarietta. Yes, Anarietta? Her Grace, the Duchess. I forget myself at times. We address each other by our first names in private. Never in Palmrin's presence, however. He finds such familiarity Not offensive. A watering hole for traders, uh, smugglers, boatmen. But you will find no better crayfish chowder in all Toussaint! Indeed. What? With no lads brave enough? Of course we have. But bravery is not enough. Ah. It's a beast. Did you all see the girl uh, or the woman? By my the... troth! Could, could that be the musty scent of fresh pate? Naught else, sir, the Payrak Pagan. I see time has not dulled your senses. We would be honored if you would join us. Uh, your companion as well. But why do I not detect even a whiff of crayfish chowder? No soup today, on account of there being no crayfish. I reckon you've not heard. But all I caught was a corpse. I awoke at the crack of dawn, as I do each day. But when I looked up, I beheld a blood-red sky. This corpse is precisely why we're here. For the man whom you've invited to join you at the table was summoned from a far-off land by her gracious magnificence. He is tasked with tracking and killing the beast. We invited two men to join us, yet since Sir the Peyrak Peyron in temperament is more akin to hare than hound, I surmise the other is the hunter. With whom do we have the pleasure? Hmm. Name's Geralt. A humble introduction. You've clearly not tarried long with Sir the Peyrak Peyron. Spare us the petty insults. Geralt is a master of the witchering trade. He has questions concerning the beast's last victim. I was the one to find the corpse. The sun had just risen when I awoke, sat straight up in my bed, looked out the window, and beheld a sky red as blood. Ask him, please, or we shall be here till winter. <laughs> Must have been early in the morning. Went to check your nets and then... I stepped out of my hut and saw... By my troth, to the point, man. You found a body ensnared in your crayfish nest. We know this already. What happened then? Did you see anyone nearby? Did you spy anything? Not worth it. Anything at all. Not a soul around, just me. As for noteworthy... Hmm, well... What did you see? But be warned. If I hear the sky was red again, I saw a head bobbing, eyes bulging, the tongue blew and popped out, next to it a hand rocking upon the water. Get a good look at the body parts? They gave me such a fright, I bolted to town fast as my legs would take me, then returned with guardsmen who told me to keep out of their way. They had a hard haul. The parts were so tangled up in my nets, they were forced to cut them. Need to examine the body. Know where they took it? They ferried it across, then loaded it on a cart and hauled it to a cellar at Corfo Bianco to keep it cool, see? What? Why, Corfo Bianco is Baron Russell's estate. When he learns they've turned his cell into a morgue, he'll set his house on them. While you were gallivanting about the north, his vineyard was auctioned off. Who was that woman who just left? Didn't see her before. Didn't notice her walk in, either. Doubtless Lilis, the innkeeper's daughter. 
But hold, Geralt, because this is an outrage. Rossell's vineyard was auctioned off? Inconceivable! It is no secret the Baron had gambling debts up to his ears. It finally came time to collect. His creditors auctioned off his property. The Ducal Chancellery bought it, in fact. Rossell now bunks with his brother in Vicar Faro. I told Rossell he'd get his comeuppance. How long can one draw on past heroics? His creditors must finally have to find that his promises meant nothing. Such are the times. Today's knights are pale shadows of the heroes of yore. It's true what they say. God sent the beast to punish us for straying from the old paths. So folk think the beast's divine punishment. Knights have turned their backs on the old customs. Where they were defenders of the duchy, they're now defenders of their own tushes. Why, you insolent. Let him talk. The Duchess trades in titles, grants honors to ill to us. We've strayed from the path of virtue, lost the gods' favor, so the gods sent retribution. Don't listen to that nonsense, girl. It's rehashed street preacher Codsworth. Yes, the rebel rousers have been sprouting up like weeds lately, each offering the same bill of goods. Oh, yeah? Well, I... Uh... Well, I don't think they should talk like that about knights. Knights are nice people, and this Sir Peyton Perron seems like a very nice guy. They say anything else about the beast? Besides it being a messenger of the gods? The two Santois are no fools. They see clearly the beast kills on days honoring patron saints. Picky monster. Thanks for the hospitality. Time I examined the corpse. Covo Bianco lies a short way from here, near the tourney grounds. Just follow the road and you'll arrive. Not coming with? Oh yeah, duty of some sort calls. Some sort? <laughs> Her grace bestowed a great honor on me, even before we departed for Venice. I'm to play the hare during this year's game in the palace gardens. When you see me in my costume, you will wet yourself laughing. A little tempted to ask a few questions. But it sounds like a long, complicated story. <laughs> One involving lengthy digressions into local history and tradition. So, see you later, Melton. And good luck. <laughs> Alright, so... There was a uh, woman, mysterious yes. woman, that yes. left. And uh, nobody seemed to care about her. Uh, except for Geralt. Who'd have thought? Let's see what we have. You turd! I hereby declare that William of Stratford steals rhymes, prostitutes his services for pennies, and smells of weak old fish pricks. I cordially wish him the clap, ringworm, and warts within his bum's ample crevasses. <laughs> Take that, le papillon! <laughs> oh, good. Wanted, the White Wolf. The Witcher, Geralt of Rivia, known as the White Wolf, is wanted to serve as a guide. Whew. His potential employer guarantees an ample wage for this unusual contract. For more information, he should go to Count Belladal's temporary base camp in Toussaint. We kindly request all other persons not present themselves <laughs> said camp under the pretense of being Geralt of Rivia. Count Belladal was not born yesterday and can easily tell who is a Witcher and who is faking it. All those journeying his camp in shoddy costumes with wooden swords strapped to their backs can save themselves the trouble and turn back. There's <laughs> a lot of problems in Toussaint here. Calling all knight errants and other strongmen. The duchy needs you. Your aid is required. Bounteous rewards are in the offering. More details available at the Duker, Ducal Camerlengo offices in Knight's Dormant Square. Alright. Contract for Witcher Witches, Caravan Escort. Uh, the Buccleer Coppers Guild is seeking an individual or individuals willing to escort a merchant convoy through an area threatened by the Great White Terror. I'm the Great White Terror. I'm the White Wolf, damn it. More information can be obtained from Gaston Legaf at the merchant's camp in the forest to the north of Coronta Wine Yard. Mogrim Pro, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the Great Buccleer Gwent Tournament. Oh, I hate Gwent. I hate Gwent. I hate 
Gwent so much that I downloaded a mod that allows me to cheat through Gwent to win every game. Oh god, I hate Gwent. Ugh. So you shan't see me play that terrible game. Announcement from the Office of Internal Revenue of the Duchy of Toussaint. The Office of Internal Revenue hereby announces a limited live auction to be held regarding the sale of a piece of developed real estate and accompanying agricultural land located in the Carboreta Woods region, having been left to the Ducal Treasury by the late Count Crespi, who departed this world without any heirs. Due to the unique nature of the Belgarde estate, it is important its important role in the production of wine, bringing great fame to the duchy in all corners of the world. Only subjects of the duchy of Toussaint shall be allowed to participate in the auction. To all knights, errants, and other such men of arms, be it known far and wide that the services of voluntary keepers of the peace shall be needed. Minor problems are expected to arise during the transfer of the above-mentioned real estate, and said problems for their dissolution could require the application of direct physical force. All volunteers are asked to report to the field office of the Procurator General of Toussaint near the Pledgeman's Bridge. This is to say, to the place where the auction shall be held. Ducal ah, clerks see. looking for help. Could be good coin to be made. Yeah. Oh, damn it! Watch There's where you step. Oh. Roach! Roach! Uh, yes. Quest updates, of course. Excuse me. Ah! <laughs> Get out of the way. Gonna Stock Come on! Out of the way! Out of the way! Oh, look at this! It's like Bretonia. So it's gonna fight. Have to hurry. Yeah. Oh. So. Excuse me. Hello. Damn it! Killer must still be here. Jaws, man like, except for long things. Oh, you're alive. In the cellar, gotta be. Attacker had no trouble knocking over the cart. Yeah. Claw wounds from five separate claws, spread of a small human hand, massacred by a vampire. Not an Ekimara, though, or a Flutter. Bruxa, gotta be. Read the Bruxa uh, journal entry. Let's see. Uh, what do we have? We have the glossary, the bestiary, the Bruxa, vampires, Bruxae. Ooh, she doesn't look nice. Moon dust, vampire oil, black blood, and Irdem. Wow. If you must travel through these woods, steer clear of any places where you can hear several different kinds of birds at once. That means you're entering Abraxas territory and can kiss your life. Farewell. Well, alright. Uh, their uncanny speed, the power of invisibility, can easily confuse opponents and attack unexpectedly from behind. Oh, Abraxa, if you've seen the, uh, uh, the um, intro video, the reveal video, I think, for this game, then you have seen uh, Abraxa. Uh, let's see. Potions. Uh, bombs. We want moon dust. Are you. Do you have moon dust on you? Yes, superior moon dust. Let's put you there. What is this? Grape shot? Uh, what potion did we want? We wanted. Oh, damn it. I missed it. Oh, not, not alchemy. Glossary. Bestiary. Bruxa. We want the black blood. Of course. You drink the black blood, and if the Bruxa feeds on you, uh, your blood will be um, acid, you know? Alright, let's uh, put you in the way of the blueberries. We got Superior Swallow, we got Thunderbolt. Alright, that's great. And we have the Grape Shot, we have Grape Shot and Superior Bomb. It's perfect. Black blood and moon dust. Lifesavers. Yeah. Uh, and what is the... Uh, Control to throw a bomb, eh? I can't remember. Consumables, quick access menu, tab. Uh, there we 
go. I want to put an axe on us. No, wait. Uh, it's the Quinn we want. There we go. Uh, and we'll drink a... Uh... Oh, you know what? We're going to fight this Bruxa next time. Uh, so, uh, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll see you in a bit. Cheerios.